Father, keeping it real one for you and you and you and you. Because let me tell you, it is Valentine's weekend. And when I tell you those prices is high for all kind of gifts. Valentine's Day just go, they take their prices and they just go way up high with the prices. So I like to do it yourself. DIY myself. So this little project is basically Valentine's. It's what Valentine's get together for the ladies. But it can be for birthday, uh, a celebration, any kind of celebration. So all you need is a bottle of your choice of wine, some straws, some roses, and some foam. So these straws are so cute because I got them from um, Party City, and these straws are made of a pot. And you will see uh, the ending part of how the straws and everything is going to come out. So again, you need a bottle of your choice of wine, straws, roses, and foam. That's all you need for this little project. So here's the bottle of your wine of your choice. You are going to take one cube here. One of these foam cubes. They have them. They come bigger. They come smaller. They come round. But um, they just had... The, the square ones like these which is better it's good for me for this project so you're going to take it and you're just going to put it down on the floor on the thing and you're going to push it in going to push it in in the middle or however way you want to put it and it goes straight through yeah so now you just have this you have this you can straighten it out and so now what you're going to do is you can take some scissors or knife of your choice and you're just going to cut it down a little bit Put it down a little bit. Not too much, just enough. Just enough. I think that's pretty good. Just enough. I don't want to make it too big. So this is good enough. This stuff is kind of messy. The foam and stuff is kind of messy. Always I like to keep my area clean of where I am working on, whatever I am working on. And I also have this box here that I will show you um, what I'm going to do with this box. This is just a little box that I purchased, I mean that I got from um, Family Dollar and I just kind of like decorated the box a little bit. But this is just a little box because it's a Galentine's, see? The box is a Galentine's, it's milk chocolate, long stems. So this, you will see what I'm going to do with this. So now we have this. So you're going to take this is a simple project. You want to take these little Valentine's Day straws right here. And you want to stick these little straws inside. Look at this. This is so cute. So you drink from it in your little glass. So you want to take these little straws right here. And you want to just put them in any way you want to put them in. Any way you want to put them. Any way you want to put them. Any way you want to put them. Let me move this over. And this comes in a pack of 12. So any way that you feel that you want to put the straws, you can put the straws. Just make sure you put it down. Cute little straws. Which why I feel that this was a nice little project. Just stick them down any way you want to stick them down. Valentine's Day shorts. We are doing this together, and because my channel is called Keeping It Real, honestly, I had to take the straws out. So we're going to redo this all over again because I felt that you also needed some tape, any type of tape. You definitely need some tape because once you put the straws into the foam, let me show you one of them. Once you put the straws into the foam, it's like something that's underneath so you don't want them to be sucking up this, this stuff in the bottom you know what i'm saying so i think that would be um, better to put like some straws or something um some tape on the bottom you know because that wasn't cool to be <laughs> drinking on something and the wipe it off and stick it back in there Cute. And it's safe for people to drink. Wait. It's easier. Once you take it out, just wipe it off, take the straw or I mean the tape off. And once you stick it in, it's, it's better like that. The hole is already there. So you don't have to worry about nothing going on the straw. But yes, this one is better. It's better like that. It's just one more. And that's what I did. Wipe it off, took the tape off. Take the tape off. Wipe it off. You can see that there's nothing on the straw. Nothing. The hole is already there, so the phone will not get on the bottom. I'm learning just like y'all people. <laughs> I did something like this before for uh, a birthday, but it wasn't roses. I'm going to take and clean off this section, so this is how we will be looking. Like I said, you can stick the straws any way you feel fit. Any way that you feel fit. I like to keep my section clean. 
and everything is cleaned up. So now it's time to install the roses. And like I said, you can put the roses anywhere you like. And these are chocolate covered roses. Chocolate color roses. There's chocolate in the rose. So we are doing a wine bouquet rose. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a wine bouquet rose. <laughs> so all you do is stick it in there, any way you want, any way you want. So they can actually um, just pull it out, pull it out. Hold the bottle, stick it in there. They can do the straws, they can do, you, you see where I'm going, you see where I'm going, I'm doing it. So I have 12 chocolate roses, 12 chocolate roses, so they can even pull the chocolate out, they can pull the straw out, but do you see where I am going? Do you see where I am going with this? Now that I have my bouquet done, so now with this box, remember this box, what I wanted to do with this box is to keep it real. Like, I ain't buying no plastic, so let me tell you, you see this plastic that, on this board here, I'm about to use this plastic and make it. This is what I'm about to do for this box. So I cut one open already. So this is what I'm going to do with this. Um, I'm going to fill this plastic up inside of here. And you want to make it round so the bottle can just stick right inside. And the bottle won't move. So you want to put it in there round so your bottle won't move. I'm going to put it in here and push it down to make it nice and snug. So that way, when you put the bottle in the middle, it can hold. And for example, I'm going to show you... This is not the actual bottle that I'm using because mine is with chocolate um, roses, so I don't want to stuff it yet until I know that it is there. I don't want to glue it to the bottom of the box because when it's time for us to drink the wine, it's a struggle to get it from off of the box when it's glued. So I am going to make sure this bottle is the same size. So what I'm going to do is make sure it actually can fit in here, snug in here, and make that space so that way the bottle will not move. I'm going to put it like this, the bottle in, and I'm going to take the paper, put it around here, and make it nice and snug so that way when I put the bottle in there, it won't move and just push it down. Push it down. See? Push it down. Push it down. Make sure it's in the middle and push it down. You see? So that's what I'm going to do with my chocolate roses. My bouquet of chocolate roses because I like this box. I thought this was a cute box. So this is how my box is going to look with the thing in. So when you carry it, you know what I'm saying? The wine bottle won't be moving. It's snugged. It's in here and it's snugged. So yes, keeping it real to create this look. I got the box. I got the wine. And to keep it real, I use the plastic from the water bottle. The plastic from the water bottle we always throw away, but you know, things like this, it can come in just like a whip. So yes, that is it to make it sturdy. So you're gonna sit the rose bouquet in there with the straws, and this is it. La -la, la -la. This is nice. So this is how it's going to be. So I'm gonna take this out so the other bottle is the same size. I can slip it right on in. Slip it right on in. So I just wanted to show y'all that part. I'm so proud. So y'all know this little wrapping gift tissue. So with the gift tissue, I am also going to. You want to make it look nice, you don't want to make it look ghetto because plastic is in there. So I am going to stack this on top of the plastic that I just put in. So I'm going to take the plastic, I mean the tissue paper. Come on out, come on out. The tissue paper. Because it's Valentine's weekend. Valentine's weekend. So we're going to use the red part of it. Remember this tissue paper that you use to put in the bag with gift papers and stuff? Yeah. We're going to use this today. One piece. So remember, I put the plastic inside here. The plastic, remember the plastic? So you want to take it and just put this around it. Roll it up, put it around it. Because you want to make it look nice. You don't want to make it look bad. <laughs> Still got that hole in here. Yeah, so, yes. Still got that hole in the middle. So put your wand on there. Put your fist in it. Well, you can test it with the wine bottle, so this is how it's looking. You don't see the plastic, you see the white, the red paper. You don't see the plastic. And like I said, I'm keeping it real with y'all, because I ain't got it. I'm going to use what I have in this box. Yes, and make it look nice. And once I put my bouquet of roses right now, I'm ready to put my bouquet of roses in here. Make sure it's nice and snug. And look at that. Nice little hole. Put your bottle wine in the middle. <clears throat> and this is And this is the finishing touch. Yes, beautiful. So yes, this is the finishing touch. So I added some regular roses in there, I mean flowers in there, along with the regular chocolate roses. And this is the finishing of it. And I think I did a great job. Thank you for watching. Follow me, Shanice, the one, the only one.